Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Okay, before we dive into our pour, I have a few things I want to go over with you guys, let you guys know. Two things actually. Um, if you're not interested in hearing what I have to say, you can fast forward until you get to the painting part. But I have to announce a few things. So, Number one being, many of you probably know that I was associated with Mark Gilday Art and in partnership with PoorScrapeRepeat.com and the Poor Scrape Repeat Facebook group. I am no longer associated with all three of those. I'm not associated with Mark. I'm not associated with Poor Scrape Repeat Facebook group or the website where we were selling 3D printed acrylic pouring tools. I know, that was quick. So quick that I didn't even know I was out until I was out. <laughs> anyway, that's another day. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that there are, um, a lot of you guys had had it over to the Facebook group Pour Scrape Repeat, Pour Scrape Repeat and joined when I was mentioning it in my previous videos and whatnot. I am no longer in that group. It does probably to some of you look like I am in that group because my artwork is on the cover page or the cover of the group and my announcement posts are pinned at the top. So you see my face and my name right at the top of the page. The first thing you see, do not be fooled. I am no longer a part of that group. Uh, a lot of people reached out to me and said I should start my own group. I was a little hesitant at first because it is a lot of work to do it on your own. So I, I ended up giving it some thought and I decided to start a group. So it is called Acrylic Pour House and it is full of the most amazing artists. The artwork that is being posted in that group is, it's almost intimidating to me. <laughs> to be honest, there are some fabulous artists in that group. It's for amateurs, you know, beginners, pros, everybody, please join me over there. Again, I said, you know, running a group on your own is a lot, a, a lot of time and a lot goes into it. So I will be looking for right now. It's just me and my husband running it. And I will be looking for probably one or two admins to help out. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get them soon. Anyway, so I'm no longer associated with poor scrape repeat. Number two, this may come as a shock to many of you. I am no longer an affiliate with Color Art. Um, I s stand behind the pigments, uh, the products 100%. I just can no longer work with the company. However, my code is still active and I'm in the process of trying to get it shut off. Um, so, like, if you're going to buy from Color Art, instead of using my code, because it will work, um, I, I, I suggest that you head over to another Color Art affiliate and use their code so they benefit off of it. Uh, like Tammy Anderson Art, I will link her below if you want to grab her code. Again, like I said, um, I'm working on getting mine turned off, so hopefully that'll happen soon. Um, so I th think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. I just wanted to let you guys know that. So again, I will link my new group in the description box underneath this video. Uh, it'll be a direct link. So if you want to join me over there, that'd be great. Um, okay. So enough of that. So I'm excited today to play with some new colors, some new pigments and some new product that I haven't used before. I have messed with it off camera um, over this past five days or so, just getting, you know, just doing little practice pours or whatnot, no videos. So I'm super excited to work with some new products. One being this little piggy. A lot of people call these TLPs for short. Um, I have worked with a few, a couple of the colors in the past on some videos. I do have loads of different colors now and I'm super excited to play with some different products. And then the Boom Gel Stain. This is like a ready to pour um, straight out of the, the bottle. Great for the bloom technique. So I'm excited about that. I have 
pearlescent teal that I'm going to be playing with today and some metallic gold. And uh, the cool thing about where I got these from, which is fluidart.co, is I believe if you buy five of them, don't quote me on this, five of them, you get five free twisty tops, I believe. Or you can purchase these on the site. I'm not sure. I'll figure that out and put it in the description. But these bottles normally come with like that kind of shampoo bottle top which is grand, you can still whoop. But these are handy because, you know, these are like the kind of the Dutch pour bottles. Like you just twist it and then, and you have nice control over where you're putting it. So happy days. All right, let's put that one back. This one is called Parrotfish Green. They have a lot of funny names. Like this is Lil Lily Pilly Pink. Let's see, there's another one I like. Ah. Uh, this is the black one, Willy Wagtail Black. So we're playing with a few other of the colors, like in some other videos or whatnot. Okay, if anybody wants to know how I mix my pigments my, and my tube paints and about the pillow paint, I will link a video below on how I mix. And I'm not going to get into all that detail today because the video would be like 45 minutes or whatever, maybe longer. <clears throat> but I will list all the products used and the cell activator and everything underneath the video. Um, if you do, I learned the bloom technique by taking the Shelly Art course, the e-course, the online course. I do have a discount code in the description box as well. Save yourself 15% uh, off on that. Um, I did take it uh, over a year ago now, I think. Yeah, definitely over a year ago. Probably actually over a year and a half ago, maybe even longer than that. Um, but yeah, great course. To, I mean, it's progressed my just art in general. Um, it's made me more comfortable to work with different mediums and different products instead of the same old, you know, pouring mediums and flow trawl and tube paints. Definitely the, one of the greatest things I got to take out of it is working with pigments because that's it's fun and you could mix your own little colors by you know mixing some interference in with a nice turquoise color or whatever you just kind of experiment i love doing that stuff that is like my therapy i love it love it love it i'll sit there and just mix up colors and just won't even paint i'll just mix up colors and then paint a day or two later anyway now i'm rambling okay i just wanted to go over the colors real quick this is a cell activator that I made. This is the Australian Flood Flow Trawl. It has, it's a little concoction of metallic, or it's graphite by Amsterdam. And then I added a dollop of cobalt violet hue from Golden. And into that mix, I added just a little sprinkle of pinwheel, just to see. <laughs> so, this is what I got, which I think is very pretty. I'm probably gonna stick my warm light on here so you can actually see the shimmer. Okay, so that's that. We are using, this is Twinkle by this little piggy. Put that off to the side there. So this is like an interference. So you can see that. Okay. And we have blue eyes. Okay, and we have, this is quinacridone <laughs> violet by Golden. And Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. And then again, I'm using the Pearlescent Teal by Boom and Metallic Gold. Again, you can get those at fluidart.com. I'll link that below. Okay, and then I have my house paint mixed up here for the base, the pillow paint. I did add a bit of water to it to thin it down. Nothing else is in there, just the house paint and water. Okay, this is a uh, eight by 
Hmm. Eight by twenty, maybe <laughs> inch canvas. I forget. Let me just switch my light. Okay. So I just have some cups attached to the bottom there, and then we're gonna kind of just do some puddles. I'm just gonna kind of wing it, do some puddles, and then blow them out and see what what we get. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, get that out of the way. Okay, let's go for some pearls and teal. I'm not sure. I'm going to do a, one in the middle as well. I'm just not sure which way I'm going to layer. So, hmm. I think I might actually. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't put interference on a white background, put it on black or a dark color, but you get some cool effects when you do, so I'm going to do it. Don't put yourself in a box. on here as well. And let's get some blue eyes going. You always give your pigments a good mix before they've been sitting for a while. Chunk of some dried paint in there. Need my tweezers. Okay, let's throw some of those pearls and teal down here. And some the Prussian blue. Violet, whatever, however you say it. Just making sure that's okay. Okay, I am. We're just going to drop in some of that gold. I'm going to do the gold, the boom gel stain metallic gold 
um, just before I blow out the bloom. So I'm not gonna put, add it to all the puddles. I'm gonna go for this guy first. And a little bit of this goes a long way and I'm probably putting too much. And then our cell activator, let's see how this works. And just maybe a little bit more. <coughs> Don't mind my head. blow too hard on that puddle. There's those blue eyes. <laughs> we'll tweak that puddle as we go. Okay, I gotta hurry because I'm kinda, things are spilling off that way. I need to get a stick or something. Actually, that's not. I gotta hurry, guys. My puddles are all shifting. It's because my table is not level. And this one's stuck, so I'll just put it under there. Okay, what of? What of? We're gonna tilt anyway, so it's grand. All right, we're gonna try to blow these petals into those. Okay. Woo! So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna run a stick through. Leave it like that. I gotta tilt this. Make sure you guys can see. Sorry, I'm kind of awkwardly turning or tilting this. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Sorry, not sorry, because I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Wow, see that middle there? That's, I put the interference down first. The uh, twinkle. And what's, when you stick resin on that, or just when I show you at the end, you're gonna be able to see 
the um, that it's not just you know white we're gonna get a shift oh my goodness wow All right, I need to think a little air bubble there whoop, whoop. the gold looks really cool in it spread out nice and evenly and throughout the lacing it's really cool i love i don't want to get drip paint but i love this love it i almost wish i would have done that on each of those puddles each of those puddles i might maybe do like a little spin out and do the same colors before we go we'll see if i have time with that same layer as i did in the middle Don't want to mess this up, but I feel like, no, I really like that. I feel like I need to do something to them corners. I should have tilted all the way over them. They don't, oh my gosh, look at those. Freaking gorgeous. Please don't mess this up, mama. Please. If anything, what we should, opening up this, look at that middle bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do a really quick before we little spin out with those colors or something. Or, or with that layering order. Okay. I don't wanna mess this up. Come on, come on, come on. I'm totally gonna mess it up and back the same way and hope we didn't totally destroy it. Uh, okay. Woo! That middle bit is freaking awesome. Oh, I wish I would have done the whole thing like that, but you know what, it gives a variation, but that is cool, I like that. Zap it right through there. Wow. Okay. I wish this had a little bit more like a uh, blue and some white popping through it, but I'm okay with it. I'm actually freaking delighted with that. So let me, I'll bring you guys down for a close up. Oh, I love that middle bit. Love that middle bit. Let's scrape this before it all pulls off and then I'll bring you guys right down. Okay guys, so here is a little close up. This section right there is my favorite. 100% sure. Oh my gosh. The swirls are cool in between the the blooms that we blew out. This side, I'm a little ant eh about, but I'll take it. That is just my favorite. I'm totally gonna really quick do a little bonus with you guys. Love, love, love. Oh, look at that. Do you know what? It's so fun using just new products and experimenting and playing with different things let's go here so you guys can see it without all that mess that middle bit love it right i'm gonna try and stick the flash on here so you guys can see it be right back right let's see if we can get some shimmer oh yeah So that's what I mean with the interference colors. People are always saying, put it on a dark background, put it on a dark background. I disagree. I think you can go either way. It just depends on what you're going for. So like I said, don't put yourself in a box. Look at that. Blue eyes, man. I was a little iffy about the blue eyes because I don't normally go for like baby kind of blues. But you know what? That just opened up a whole nother level of color for me, so I'm excited. 
the boom gel, the gold. Just stunning. I should show you guys a little trick with that gold too. Love, 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 love. Oh my gosh. Where's that little bit? Oh, this little, those little veins right there. Oh, I really need, I just feel like a weight and just lift it off my shoulder. I'm so happy with that. I don't know how many canvas I've scraped in these past few days. And this is exactly what I needed. I don't know. You guys probably won't like it, but I love it. And it's got me feeling good. And that's what it's all about. Look at that, that little color split there. I love it. Love it. All right, guys, enough. I'm gonna try and set up for a bonus. If you don't get that bonus, I will do to, or I will use that same color layer as I did for the middle bloom. Um, but I should have time and I'm probably actually just gonna say, you know what, let's just do it. So uh, most likely be right back. Talk soon, guys. We're gonna do a spin with that same, well, I have to remember, I should have looked back on the video, but I just want to put that twinkle down first and just spin this out. I'll blow it with my mouth. Okay, so yeah, we got an eight by eight canvas. Got my spinner. I'm actually gonna take a small bit of paint just so this doesn't go flying off. It to stick a little bit so it doesn't go flying. You're not sticking. You're gonna stick now. All right, satisfied. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Puddle out. Try and do it in more of a square shaped pancake. All right. Okay, so this is the twinkle. What is this? Oh, this is the blue, uh, the blue eyes. Get that pearlescent teal by Boom Gel Stain. Oh, I hope this turns out just as fab. Okay, brush in. Violet by Golden. A little bit more on the outside. And what did I do? Oh. Metallic gold, the boom. Probably going a little crazy with that gold, but I actually love that. So, so cell activator.
Okay. Okay, well, we'll see. Let's blow out these a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna spin. don't want that paint to go flying. So we're gonna give it another spin. Oh, and that paint's flying, hold on. It's here. Okay. I'm loving it. I love all, I like the outside the most of it. This part, I wish it had more of this right here, but you know what, you win some, you lose some. I'm happy with that. And I think that's actually gonna be a cute one with that other one that we just did. I should do another one of these. So it could be like a little set. Hmm. Pick it up and see how we are. I think we're good. Love it. Really like those colors. Your blue eyes, you've definitely won me over. Get that warm light on. All right, so here we go. Hope you guys like it, I love it. Let me know what you guys think. And thanks for joining me. Um, I know it's been a while. It's just been a long few weeks and I'm just getting back into the swing of things. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I love you guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, just check the description box below and there'll be lots of information. Please join my group, Acrylic Pour House with Erica Hughes Art. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.